Welcome again to Papa Bojo's Kitchen. Today I'm going to do another one of the specialties that we had while we were in Sicily, and this is called pasta alla norma. It's from Catania, and what it means actually in Italian is it's a pasta masterpiece, and it truly is. It's a pasta made with eggplant and some other ingredients that I'll go through as I go cooking along. Typically, it's made with a nice rigatoni, a nice al dente rigatoni. I've got some gemelli, and the reason why I'm using gemelli is it's very close to my favorite one that I had when we were actually in, I think it was Terramina. So let's get cracking and let's make this great pasta dish. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a pot of water boiling. Once it comes up to boiling, we're going to add some salt into it and get it ready for our gemelli. But next, what we're going to do is we're going to cut our eggplant. And we're going to keep the skins on, just like with the uh, caponata, but we're going to cut these a little bit smaller because we are going to fry these in some olive oil. So I'm going to cut the strips. Instead of in three strips, I'm going to cut this in four strips. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut these into four pieces instead of three. And then we're going to dice these into about a half inch cubes instead of the uh, one inch cubes that we did previously. Now you're gonna bring a deep side pan up to temperature and you're gonna drop a good amount of olive oil in here. And once you see the olive oil's heated up, you're gonna take your eggplant, you're gonna drop it in there. Then you're going to stir this to make sure all of that eggplant is coated in the olive oil. If you need to add more olive oil, which I like to do, you're going to take this and you're just going to spritz some olive oil on that eggplant and give it a stir. Get the eggplant down to one layer because we're going to cook this until it's completely soft. It'll be browned as well. I'm adding more olive oil as needed. Don't forget, eggplant soaks up oil quite quickly. Put your heat down to a medium high and continue cooking. Continue stirring and cooking your eggplant and also bring another pot up to boil. We're gonna need this to cook our tomatoes. You can see these are starting to soften. They're not quite there yet. I'm going to season the eggplant with a little salt. And a little black pepper. And stir. Now I'm going to taste the eggplant. I'm going to squeeze it. It's nice and soft. It's right where I want it. So now I'm going to take the eggplant and I'm going to put it on some paper towel to drain away just some of that grease. We're going to keep as much of the liquid as we can in the pan as well as the bits and pieces because now we're going to make our tomato sauce. So I've got my tomatoes here and what I'm going to do just like we did with the caponata, you got a real sharp knife and you want to score an X all the way around each tomato. If you got a real sharp knife, you don't really have to even put any pressure on tomato. It just cuts right through the skin nice and easily. Now that I've finished scoring the last tomato, I've got my ice bath sitting here. Now it's time to put these tomatoes in a pot that's just coming up to the boiling water. We can use that same water for the pasta. So now we're going to drop these tomatoes in for 30 seconds. Now we're going to take them out and we're going to put them in the ice bath. After dropping them in the ice bath, you see the skins peel off real easy. So after you peeled all these skins off, then what you're going to do is we're going to coarsely chop the tomatoes. Because we're going to make a nice tomato sauce and we're going to stick this in the frying pan 
that we had the eggplant. And there's still going to be bits and pieces of that eggplant in there, and you want that because that just adds extra flavor. Now that we've finished chopping our tomatoes and putting them in the pan, it's time to get the pan on the stove. So I've got my tomatoes in the pan. I'm going to add some olive oil to it. Kick the heat up to high initially. We're going to get all these bits and pieces of the eggplant off as the tomatoes start going. If you notice, I leave the stems in, okay, the uh, stems of the tomatoes. Um, you can cut those out. Most people do. I don't mind them. This is going to break down fairly quickly, though. As it's starting to break down, I add two crushed cloves, cloves of garlic. Um, I want to pull those out later. That's why I've crushed them instead of having little pieces. If you want to keep the little pieces of garlic in there, that's fine. I just want the flavor of the garlic, not the chunks of it. I'm going to add in some salt, generous amount of salt. And a little black pepper. And I'm going to stir. At this time, it's optional, but I like to add a little red pepper flakes. Just to give just a tiny kick to the back of the throat, nothing too strong. At this stage, get yourself a flat wooden spoon like this and start crushing your tomatoes down. They should be soft enough to start breaking down. And we're going to want this to be a chunky tomato sauce to the most, for the most part. When it gets to the chunkiness level that you like it, add in some olives. This is optional but this is truly what you want to do with this dish. Now add in your eggplant. And stir all of that eggplant in. This is truly fantastic, phenomenal sauce. Now because we're using fresh tomatoes, I add in about a tablespoon or so of tomato paste just to help thicken the sauce up just a little bit. Just so there's no watery aspect to it. Now we're going to taste for seasoning. It needs a little more salt. And just a little bit more pepper. Taste again. And that's perfect. Now at this stage, add some fresh basil. Turn the heat down and add some fresh basil and stir it in. And with that, the sauce is done. And now it's time to make the pasta. As you see, the water is starting to come to boil. So I'm going to add a good amount of salt at this point. And once it comes to a boil, we'll drop our pasta. So you see our pot of water has come to a complete boil. So we're going to add our gemelli. And we're going to cook it for about nine minutes until it is perfectly al dente. So it's been about nine minutes. I'm going to taste to see if these are where I want them. You cook them to where you want. Don't forget taste for the al dente-ness you like. These are perfect. Turn the heat off. Now I'm going to strain the pasta into this bowl. Now we're going to take this to the sauce and we're going to sauce it up. So we're just about through making our pasta al norma. So I've got my pasta here. I'm going to ladle some of this sauce with all the good stuff in there. And I'm going to mix it real well. 
get a mixture of all of that good stuff in with the pasta. A little bit more. And you'll see we've made more sauce than we need for one pound of pasta. This sauce is about good for two pounds of pasta. So if you're feeding about six, you could use two pounds instead of one, and this would be perfect for you. And now it's time to plate. Plating this is pretty simple. You just put it in a bowl. I get about that much in there. Take a little bit more of the sauce, put it up on top. And then here's the key. Here's the secret. Get some ricotta salata. That's a compressed ricotta cheese. It doesn't melt very easily, but what you want to do is you want to grate this all over it. And this is the authentic way. If you can't find it, you can use Parmesan or you can use feta and, and pecorino. Do something like that. But that's the real pasta al norma. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit of basil. I wish I had real nice green basil leaves because that would be the correct presentation, but I don't. So there it is. So here you have it. Pasta alla norma or a pasta masterpiece. You've really got to give this a try. This is really the best pasta dish I had in all of my two trips to Italy. It's just phenomenal with that eggplant and the olives and the fresh tomatoes. And I use this type of pasta because some little crevices hold the sauce in. But the real key is using that ricotta salata, the salted ricotta cheese. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Papa Bojo's Kitchen, and I hope to see you again. Bon appetito, everybody. Bye.